hello everybody this is john from usa mondon welcome back and thanks for watching if it's your first time on my channel as always welcome today i have another video for you guys on today's video is what is the first step to take if you want to come and study here in the united states of america if you want to know something about that all you gotta do is stay tuned and i'll be right back usa Mondo. I get a lot of message uh, uh, from people who want to come and study here in the United States of uh, America. They always ask me uh, what are the first steps they have to take, you know, what document they have to provide, what can they do in order to become student here in the United States of America. So this is one of the reasons why I decided to make this video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about uh, the first step, what you have to do first uh, in order to come here in the United States of America and study in, uh, in the university of your choice. So the first thing you're gonna do is to look for the university you wanna attend in which state uh, you wanna you wanna go to. So we got different state of uh, 52 states, and then um, you choose uh, which university you wanna go. Let's say you choose a university uh, in New York. So you you choose a the university, then you can send a uh, university email uh, asking information about the school, and uh, maybe you can even ask uh, 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 for a brochure uh, which they can send you, so you can look at it and see different what kind of program they. Uh, the offer and then uh, which program uh, interests you once you find the program you want then uh, you need to see what kind of document they require in order for you to uh, get enrolled in that university so once you send those document in and then um, you are accepted and get enrolled the next step is gonna be uh, to pay on um, uh, actually to register to SE VIS. Uh, SEVIS uh, stands for Student and Exchange on Visitor Information System. You have to register. You have to register for the system and then pay a fee, uh, which is uh, I believe two hundred dollars. So the SEVIS is uh, fees is basically a maintenance fee to maintain the uh, database for for the student who for people who come to study here in the United States of America. Okay, you have to pay that fee. So once you pay that fee, then and then like I say, you are accepted in university. Then the school officials will send you uh, a form called I-20. This is the form you're gonna uh, sign. Uh, actually, the the, the school uh, official gonna sign it, and you have to sign it also. You're gonna use that form added to a document you're gonna take to uh, for your visa interview. Okay. One thing I'm gonna add to this video is to make sure the university or the school you choose is um, SEVP uh, approved school. So, which is a uh, student and exchange on visitor program approved school. If you don't choose the school that is approved by SEVP, then you won't be able to get a uh, student visa to come and study here in the United States of America. So after you register for the school, you are accepted, you pay the uh, SEV uh, IS fees, you got your I-20, then the next step is going to be to apply for uh, your uh, student visa, which I'm going to talk about in the next video. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys love and learn something from me. If you know somebody who needs to watch this video, please share with that person. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, all you got to do is subscribe. Once again, my name is John. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.